Hey guys, John, John, and Cody here. And no, we're not in line for Black Friday deals. We're on the golf course, and today we have a challenge. That's right. A golf challenge, because we're on the golf course. So we're gonna do three holes that we pick randomly. The winner of those holes will get to open a mosaic jumbo pack of football. So. Cello packs. Cello? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jumbo cello? No, jumbo just, cello. just a cello. Cello jumbos. Too many names. They have a special other pack in there that has a special card. Right? Uh, That's just the okay, cello. Okay. Yeah. Right, cool. Okay. Cello pack. So stay tuned <laughs> and watch me open some packs. Oh! oh! Water on it. Juicy water. Like Let's see what happens here. Fingers crossed it goes in the water. So the winner of each of those three holes gets one. Sure. Gotcha. Ooh, that is a mulligan. A mulligan shot? Man, I'm, I hope that came out on the camera. I hope they could see that. I didn't take a warm up swing. That was the problem. Did you guys see that huge splash? Cody's Houston driver. This is very rare. We don't see this a lot. Steamer. Right over the lady. John, how do you feel about John Smack Talk today? So far? He's in a mood right now. I, I don't know if it's because he's in his mid to late 50s or <laughs> he just, you know. John, yep. he woke up feeling real cocky and comfortable today. He went to the uh, driving range two days ago. We haven't played in like two months, so he's got a little bit of an advantage on us uh, that he doesn't want to admit that he has on top of his handicap. So we'll see how he does. He's he's pretty confident, cocky right now. Oh yeah, where'd that go? Towards uh -oh. the house. Towards the house. <laughs> Nature, oh, they just ruined my nature shot. This is Jim Mud John. I'm gonna pre grade this at 9.5. <laughs> oh, I give it just a short. seven. Just that short. Was, that was near men. Uh, you can tell by the reaction of how the ball went. Shotgun. Completely renovated from past events here, the fifth hole will be another brand new challenge for players. This hole used to be a decent scoring opportunity as a par five, but now, as a par four, it's a much tougher test. Be in the parking lot. Uh, and that's why we call oh, it the legend. Got some juice. He smoked it. It's a sand wedge. I cannot hit this to save my life. 70 yards to the pin. John C.G. lines up. And he crushes it. Uh, to the right. Off to the right. Hit. Bam! Yeah, it took five to get here, but then that was a good shot. <laughs> Alright guys, here we are. The next hole. Another pack. Z already has one, yeah. So That's Cody right. and I, Cody and I got to get in the game. 
The par 3 13th hole will play just over 200 yards, where a mid-iron will be needed to reach a challenging green guarded by two large bunkers. All right, Cody's got, he, he landed in the grass, which is the good news. Bad news, he's got a tree right in front of him. Bad news is I got no second shot, really. And that, that ball in the green is me. Oh! He's still in bounds. Guys, I was trying to go right here. I was just trying to hit. These guys just decided to make the mosaic holes my best holes of the entire day. So that ball, that's a little, Closer to the hole than the other one. That was my first shot. Lion four. I think he's lying, laying three. So it's looking pretty promising for uh, two mosaic cello rips right now. That's, uh, that's what two cellos feels like, guys. I'm in last place, but I got two cellos. <laughs> the last of the par fives plays around the lake. A good downhill tee shot can make this hole reachable for the longer players. What always throws me off is when the tee boxes are lined up that way and I have to hit it. What was that first thing, a foot wedge? All right guys, it's over. 18 holes of golf on Black Friday. So here's how it ended up. I won the front nine, John won the back nine, but Cody got the lowest score. But that's what now that's not why you guys are here. What you're here for is John won two holes, so he gets to rip two mosaics. Cody won one hole, so thank goodness we don't get to watch John rip three. It been Somebody fun, else uh, for you. I'm entertaining. Not so fun for us. <laughs> so stick around, let's see what cards uh, these guys pull out of the packs. Alright, so I won two holes, so I'm gonna be opening up these two. This is uh 20 21 mosaic. Football, so these are cellos, gonna have the pink camo inside of it and one other mosaic. So hopefully we get a Genesis, Honeycomb, you know, we'll see. Odds are against us, but you never know. So here it is, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. It's gonna be two individual packs inside of the cello. So you're gonna have the pink camos in this one and then the others in this. We'll go ahead, open up pink camo first. Big boys first. Did anyone pull anything good from Mosaic this year? No. Okay, well here it is. Here it is. So there is Adrian Amos, Leonard Floyd, and Frank Darby. There's your rookie card, Frank Darby, Frank the Tank. So I'm actually going to go ahead, save this one for last. We're going to go open the second one up, do the other pink camos, because why not, right? All right, here it is, bonus pack. See what we can get here. Maybe, uh, how you guys doing? Good, thank you. Get a Trevor Lawrence, Mac Jones. One of those rookie quarterbacks would be great. So we got a Dante Hall. Hey, Pat Fryermuth, he's been doing really well. There you go. So that's a good one to have. And Tom Brady, Tom Brady's a good one to get too. So pink camo, Super Bowl MVP, Tom Brady. Nice. So those are the bonus packs, not bad, not bad. One thing I did not remember to bring was penny sleeves and top loaders. That's so. all right, so here we go. These are the ones that might have something crazy in it, kind of low odds. 
most of them are just going to be base cards, but we will see what we got here. So, Jake Plummer, Peyton Manning, T. Higgins, Chase Claypool, Winfield Jr., Tua, and here's our green mosaic that we're going to have right after this uh, NFL debut, Rashad Bateman. Oh, it said Jacksonville. It said Jacksonville. Say long. It's not a rookie. It's Joe Sherbert. Yeah. Oh. oh, well. We got actually, the it looks like another good. mosaic in here. So we got Hall of Fame Steve uh, Young and Cam Akers, Cardarius Tony, Jabril Cox. All right, one more pack, one more pack. Let's see if we can get something. I thought you were going to pull that T-Law. I thought I had a, a green T-Law there as well. So let's see what we can get here. Jeremy Chin, DeForest Buckner, DK Metcalf, Damian Harris. There's a ETN Jr. debut, Antonio Gibson, Drew Brees. All right, here is our green. It's not a rookie, Michael Thomas. We got Calvin Ridley. Got a David Montgomery, got game. Rookie Javon Holland, Kenneth Gainwell. So a couple rookies, no big quarterback names. That means Cody, all the pressure is on you to pull something good. But we did end up with uh, Tom Brady, pink camo. That's a pretty cool card. And then we had this pink Pat Fryermuth card. He's doing pretty well, so not terrible. All right, so here we go. This is I only got one pack, but you know what? It only takes one pack to get a nice card. So we're gonna start, as John did, with the pink mosaic bonus pack. And on the back, we got my man Drew Brees, so that's a good start. We got Zeke, Miles Sanders, and Drew Brees, man of the year for the pink camos. Not too shabby. Oh, this is where the good stuff is. So, let's see what we got here. Nick Chubb, DeAndre Hopkins, my guy. Derrick Henry, Leonard Williams, Dan Fouts, Kurt Warner, and the first Silver Mosaic is uh, Jameson Crowder. And behind it, we have a Chris Evans. What a stud. <laughs> and we got Adam Thielen back AKA there. Keene, that is he just a, returned uh, a touchdown silver yesterday. prism. Daz Newsom and Odafe. But this is a nice silver mosaic prism. Yep, so, so yesterday, it might not be yesterday on this video, but he just uh, returned a kickoff for a touchdown. So not bad. Is. So do, do I take the dub since that? But well, I think I, Pat Freeman. I don't think so. I, I, I had Pat a, I had Pat, and then I also had a Tom Brady pink uh, mosaic. But one card, would that one of those out value this one? I think Pat's probably worth more than him. It's a silver though. Yeah. You guys let us know in the comments below who won this little pack battle. John with the two packs or Cody with the one? It's not very interesting either way. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you on the next video.